Well, welcome to Responsibility for Freedom. Haven't made a video in a long time because I've been watching what the world's been doing for the last few years. And um, as you may or may not know, I um, co-authored a book called The Freedom Handbook. It's on Amazon. If you type in my name, Luke Denis, uh, last name D-E-N-I-S, you'll see The Freedom Handbook there and you can order it if you want. And But in that book, we talk about how we can live with a limited government and how you're going to have a happier, better life. Because every country on earth has its own borders with its own set of rules. When the United States was founded, <clears throat> it became the, one of the freest nations on earth ever. And now it's because they put the individual sovereignty first and then attempted to limit the government in any which way it could. But it failed in um, one, one key area. And that's what this video is titled. Do you want to live to 120 disease free? And that's on average. Now, if you doubt that that's capable, uh, possible, just Google Hunza tribes people. Go to Google Hunza tribes people and uh, you'll see the average age is 120 in their tribe. Now, when I say average, that's healthy, vibrant, no disease. So if the average is 120, you know they're living to 150 or more. And you'd be surprised to know that a woman in that tribe can give birth at age 80. Think about that. An 80 year old woman can start a family. You told If you told that to any doctor in North America, they'd probably laugh you out of the room. Say, that's impossible, but it's happening. There are tribes in the continental United States who live past 100, no disease, no cancer, no heart disease. They don't even have words in their language for those things. No arthritis. So why is it the average life expectancy in the United States is 76 and actually, well, it was 77 and it's dropped. For two years in a row, the average life expectancy in the United States has dropped. We're not getting better. And, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. It's not just the United States, every, every Western nation follows that model. When the founding fathers were in the room, voting on what kind of government and what the constitution was gonna look like for the United States, when it came to freedom of religion, that was a vote. And when they voted on that, it passed by one vote. That's how close it came to being some sort of religious run country, who knows what that would have looked like. The very next vote was whether they were going to allow freedom of medicine or not. That failed by one vote. So now what you have is a medical tyranny that exists to this day. You know, George Washington went to the doctors that were going to be running the medical establishment in the United States after the vote passed. And there was 30 of them. And George Washington said, you guys are not businessmen. Within 30 years, you're going to lose... Uh, whatever you create, and it's going to be hijacked by some private company. And it actually took 60 years, but that's exactly what happened. The FDA is a private company. The CDC is a private company with government contracts. And welcome to your hell. So you barely make it to 70. You And usually that's not a vibrant, that's a wheelchair-ridden disaster, old folks home-ridden hellscape of nonsense. Drugged up your eyeballs until you can't see straight. But you got human beings on this earth that can live to 150 or more. So you tell me what's wrong. Well, you don't have freedom of medicine. That's what's wrong. So what I would propose to do if I was running the show, well, that would be a, you're right. So what does that mean? Well, that means anybody who wants to practice medicine can. But it also means you're not going to get treatments anymore. You're going to get cures. Because doctors would then be allowed to discuss amongst themselves to be influenced by people who are having wonderful successes. You know, the funny thing is, is our book was published in 2017 and we put the Brzezinski documentary into that book to tell you what kind of tyranny your medical establishment is. If you watch that documentary, that'll tell you everything you need to know why you don't live as long as you could. It'll tell you right now, he's been curing cancer for 40 years and he's in the state of Texas. They tried to put him in jail for over 30 years. Tried to put him in jail for 200 years. He never hurt anybody. Not one of his patients has been hurt because his treatment has no negative side effects. It's a very simple treatment. It's just a pill you take. And he's curing in incurable cancers. Where if you get a brain tumor, it's 100% chance you're going to die. It's 100%. But anything they do to pretend to do something is the result. They know what it is. But he takes those people and he's having a 60% success rate. How come you never heard of him? 
How come other doctors aren't telling you about him? He's been curing cancer for 40 years and you're probably the first time you're gonna hear about it. Watch the documentary. We put it in our book. It's on YouTube, you can watch it. And you'll get an understanding of where you're at. So how do you live to 120? Well, the first thing is, is you would think you could eat your way that way, eating healthy. Well, that's a misnomer. You can't eat healthy. Yes, a salad's better than a burger, but there's not enough nutrients in the food you can buy or grow yourself that will sustain your life. The, the, uh, that option is gone. Uh, the, 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 the soil content in the United States and in almost all the Western world where farming is done is depleted. So you're not getting enough nutrients. I'll give you an example. In 1920, the nutrient value in a tomato, if you wanted the same nutrient content today, you'd have to eat 35 to 40. So this is to put things in perspective as to why we're in the uh, disease-ridden state because you can't get enough nutrients to sustain life properly. So you have to supplement. And did you know there's a cure for heart attack and stroke? They gave the Nobel Prize to three, two scientists and a doctor in 1998 for the discovery of a molecule that's found in all mammals. That molecule, if you supplement with it, you uh, reduce your, your heart, all your hardened arteries go back to normal, like they were when they were brand new. All the hardening of the arteries, all the cholesterol that's building up, this disappears. You go back to smooth, properly functioning arteries and heart, and you have no more hardening of the arteries. It reverses stroke damage if you've suffered a stroke. If you've had a stint put in, it reverses all the damage that happens on both ends of the stint. A lot of people don't realize stints is a placebo. They've done studies. Uh, they actually took people, put them into the operating room, told them they had the stint put in, and then they said, oh, I couldn't walk upstairs, and now I can't. Stint, they didn't put a stint in. The people who have a stint, the only reason why they have any improvement is they think there is one. And you know why? There's two books. You know why I know this? There's two books you can read. Uh, one is um, one is uh, No More Heart Disease, how, how that molecule I told you about can prevent and reverse heart attack and stroke. It was written by the Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Louis Ignario. You can look it up. I'll, I'll put a link in the video for the book. And the other book is... Um, by the doctor Food Inc. He did the documentary Food Inc. and he wrote a book on the same molecule and how it reverses heart attack, prevents heart attack and stroke damage and stop you from ever having a heart attack. In fact, I carry it in my pocket, the uh, progenitor that produces that molecule in the human body. And if somebody had a heart attack in front of me, I can literally squirt it in their mouth and it's, they'll come out of the heart attack without CPR. So, you know, you might be hearing this for the first time and wondering there's a cure for heart attack and stroke and that's the number one cause of death. Why am I hearing this on this video? Well, you can go to pubmed.gov, which is the scientific research for health in the United States. And you can type in this molecule, which I'll post in the link and you can read about it. There's 150,000 published documents about how that's a cure for heart attack and stroke. And why is it your cardiologist won't tell you about it? probably doesn't even know and the simple reason is the pharmaceutical company can't make a drug to produce that molecule that's the problem so they can't make money on it the the lack of freedom of medicine you have means they get to tell you how they're going to treat you and they will treat you till you're dead but if you want a cure you're going to have to do your own research and find your own way to stay healthy and get your own supplements and if you want a recommendation of what I do, uh, it's very simple. It's a company out of the United States that makes the most potent nutritional supplement that you can buy. And it's not very expensive. And um, they'll deliver it right to your door. And they deliver to over 68 countries. I'll put a link in the description for you. The thing is, is this is the state we have. There's a whole pile of problems with the government because they're not, there's no transparency. And we wrote about how we can have a government that can't do anything to you. They can't pass any laws. They can't change the Constitution. The United States would be far better off if they followed it. They don't. They don't follow the Constitution at all. So we could create a system where anybody who's running the government is only an administrator. There's no government employees of any kind. None. Zero. They're all subcontractors. And the person who writes the check he gets 60 grand a year. It's a part-time job. You can't bribe him because if 
the contractor needs to be changed for who plows the road or does the sanitation or does the sewage treatment. That's a private pu uh, public um, posted contract that the people in the city vote on. So if they're not doing a good job, it goes up for tenure, contractors would bid on it and then the people would vote for that. There's no voting for elected members anymore. Well, why would you vote somebody in to go change a law that affects you? Do you why did you why do you live in the country you're in two reasons you went there or you were born there and now you're subject to the rules there but they keep changing and they're not changing for the better and so we you set up it's not that hard you set up a system that the rules can't be changed the administrator writes a check to the subcontractors and he can't pick them you can't bribe him you know you think that the united states i hear this often oh it's you know it's not the best government or it's not the most perfect government but it's the best no it's not it's, not even close. it's, it's a joke you elect some bozo in your local neighborhood who goes and sits in the in the in the government um <clears throat> the house uh and then you know decides to send hundred million billions of dollars to ukraine did you vote on that why do they get to decide that and then you're on the hook for the debt that's just one pathetic example of what's going on. So life could be so, so much better. You could live to 120, 150, disease-free if you had freedom of medicine. So get your head wrapped around how good your life would be. And I'm going to talk in a few other videos what the government would look like uh, if I was running the show. But I wouldn't be running it. The rules, the Constitution, what it would look like. So anyways, I hope that helps you. Hope that gives you something to think about. And you know what? If you want to know what that world would look like, pick up the book, read it. It's a lot better reading than the Communist Manifesto that brought hell to this earth. So why don't we do some freedom? Real freedom. So wrap your head around a new border, new possibilities, because that's what we need. New constitution that can't be manipulated, can't be changed, and your life will improve. All right. Hope you guys have a great day.